dumbbell, sumo deadlift. So you can grab one dumbbell or two, even a kettlebell will work for this exercise. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to find yourself in your sumo stance. Okay, so feet are going to be a little bit wider than shoulder width. You want to make sure that your knees, your feet aren't so wide, your knees cannot follow over your toes. Okay, so you want to make sure that you check this position first. So if I do my sumo stance too wide and I squat down, you can see that my knees, if I show you from the side here, you can see that my knees have a hard time following my toes and I need to be opened back up. Okay, so find your starting position on where you can find those knees to follow over those toes. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab your weight, your shoulder blades will go back and you're going to let that weight hang nice and heavy, okay, in your hands. You're going to close your ribs down, keep your shoulders back. As you do this, you're going to lower down and sink down into your hips, okay? Exhale, come straight up, okay? Lower down, sink down into your hips, keeping those knees fighting out, 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 and then coming up. I like to imagine when I do this that there's a wall in front of me. You can even do this facing the wall. That's be a, that'd be a really good way to help keep you nice and upright. Um, I always like standing in front of my clients. It makes it really awkward and really uncomfortable. And then somehow you guys manage to sit nice and upright. So, so think about that nice wall as you sink down, 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 down. And then think about zipping your butt crack up as you come up. So you want to prevent doing this, right? A lot of times people will do a sumo deadlift mostly as a hinge, but really try to incorporate that whole lower half into that sumo deadlift today.